In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, welcome to the shrine of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. Before we continue our celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess it's to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, for virgin, all angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. All Holy Father, in the wonder of that your wisdom, of your wisdom and love, you decree that your son should be born of a woman and subject to her guidance. Grant that we may enter more and more into the mystery of your incarnate word and with him lead a hidden life on earth until, escorted by his virgin mother, we may joyously enter your home in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law so that we might receive adoption. As proof that you are children, God sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir, through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I do not busy myself with great matters, with things to sublime for me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Rather, I have stilled my soul, hushed it like a weaned child, like a weaned child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Israel, hope in the Lord, now and forever. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Please stand. Virgin Mother of God, he whom the whole world cannot contain, enclose himself as a child within your womb.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover. And when Jesus was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that Jesus was in a caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances, but not finding him. They returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found Jesus in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When Jesus' parents saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And Jesus said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But his parents did not understand what he said to them. Jesus went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and the people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Naalala ko na ako ay bata pa, between 7 to 12 years old, ay lagi kong sinasamahan ng aking nanay, Mama Lenke. Uh, at bakit kanyo ako sinasama ng aking nanay? Dahil ako magbubuhat ng basket na mga pinamili niya sa palengke. At kapag ka kami na Mama Lenke, dahil ako nga ang tagabuhat ng basket, nandun ako sa likod niya, sinusundan ko siya. At ang nakikita ko ay yung kanyang likod. Hindi ko alam kung makakarelate pa kayo dun sa namamalengke na nakabasket. Sapagat ngayon, siguro madalas ang mga tao kapag ka sinasabing sila'y mamimili sa palengke, hindi na nagdadala ng basket. Baka plastic bag, paper bag, shopping bag. No? Siguro ngayon ang mga tao, doon sa supermarket na mimili o kaya sa mall. No? Pero nung ako'y bata pa, ganun doon sa amin, no? may daladalang basket at doon nilalagay ang mga pinamalengke. At uh, isang beses na kami na mamalengke, sinusundan ko yung aking nanay, ay uh, medyo napabilis yung kanyang latad. At ako naman ay napabagal. Eh, nung araw na yun ay napakaraming tao sa palengke. Eh, batang-bata pa ako nun. Kaya, nawala sa aking paningin ang aking nanay. At hindi na malaya ng nanay ko hanggang siya ay makalayo na. Na ako pala hindi na niya kasunod. Kaya, nung hindi ko na makita ang aking nanay, ako ay nagpanik. At nung medyo nabawasan yung tao dun sa paligid, ay nakita ko yung aking nanay nandun na, malayo na. No? At lumilingon-lingon din sapagkat hinahanap ako, hindi niya na ako makita. Nakala niya ako yung lamang sa kanyang likod. Kaya dali-dali niya akong pinuntahan. No? Sabi, anak, no, nawala ka. Sabi ko, oo nga po eh, kasi ang daming tao, eh, hindi ko na kayo masundan. Sabi ng aking nanay, no? sa susunod na ikaw ay mawala, Babalik ka lang dun sa lola mo. Lola kasi yung tawag namin dun sa matandang babae na nagtitinda ng saging. No? Babalik ka lang dun sa lola mo. Pumunta ka dun pag ikaw ay nawala. At dun tayo magkikita lagi. 
Doon kita pupuntahan. Sasabihin mo doon sa suki natin, sa lola mo, o oh, ikaw ay anak ni Concepcion. At doon, alam niya na ang gagawin. Kapag ka nawala ka, doon tayo magkikita, pupuntahan kita doon. Alam mo na ang gagawin mo kapag ka ikaw ay nawala. Si Jesus ay nawala sa ating Ibanghelyo. Nawala sa paningin ng kanyang amang si Jose at ng kanyang inang si Maria. Hindi nga natin alam kung sino talagang nawala. No? Sapagat sa isang banda, sasabihin ni Jesus, hindi naman ako nawala. Nandito lang ako nananatili sa bahay ng aking ama. At siguro para kay Jose at kay Maria, hindi naman kami ang nawawala dahil alam namin kung saan kami pupunta. Alam ni Maria na sila'y papauwi na sa Nazareth. Kaya lang nagpaiwan si Jesus. Pero, kinalaunan, nakita ni Maria si Jesus. Ang kanyang anak, nakita ni Maria. At laging makikita ni Maria si Jesus. Kahit na siya, ay sasabihin natin, wari bang nawawala. Sa sino man sa atin na lumalapit kay Maria, lagi tayong dadalhin kay Jesus. Sino mang taong lumalapit, namimintuho, nanalangin sa ating mahal na ina, sigurado, dadalhin tayo kay Jesus. Makikita natin si Jesus sa sino mang lumalapit sa ating mahal na ina. Alam ng ating mahal na ina kung paano makita si Jesus. At alam niyo sa buhay ng tao, madalas ganyan eh. Hindi naman dahil sa ang tao hindi naniniwala siguro sa Diyos o nawawala yung pananampalataya kapag ka siya ay nagkakaroon ng problema o ng krisis. Naniniwala pa rin ang tao sa Diyos. Naniniwala pa rin tayo. Kaya lang siguro ang madalas na tanong natin, hindi natin makita si Jesus sa mga pangyayaring ito. Hindi natin makita si, si, si Jesus kapag ka tayo ay meron ng problema sa buhay, kapag ka ang ating mga plano ay hindi na tumutuloy, hindi nagkakatotoo, o hindi naaayon sa ating iniisip, sa ating expectation. Sasabihin natin, hindi natin makita si Jesus. Hindi natin makita ang Diyos. At sa mga panahon iyan, alam natin kung sinong pwedeng tumulong sa atin at siguradong makikita si Jesus, ang ating mahal na ina. Ang ating mahal na ina. Lagi, siyang, lagi niya tayong dadalhin at sasabihin sa atin, ipapakita niya sa atin si Jesus. Sa mga oras na nararamdaman natin o para bang hindi natin siya nakikita sa ating buhay. Nandiyan ang ating mahal na ina. Alam niya kung paano makita si Jesus. Meron ditong sinabi sa ating ebanghelyo na habang naghahanap daw si Jesus, si Jose at si Maria, habang hinahanap nila si Jesus, merong sinabi dito. Sabi ko, pwede palang mangyari yun. Sabi dito, they were looking for Jesus with great anxiety. With great anxiety. Sabi ko, pwede palang itong mangyari sa isang taong napakabuti, napakabait, banal, walang bahay dungis. Sa isang taong sumusunod sa Diyos. But then they were looking for Jesus with great anxiety. Pero ito rin great anxiety na ito. Ito yung nagdulot para kay Maria na matagpuan si Jesus, na makita siya. At naniniwala ako na sa ating buhay, kailangan din nating magkaroon ng puso katulad ng ating mahal na ina to look for Jesus with great anxiety sapagkat 
ang pinakamasakit at pinakamasaklap na pwedeng mangyari sa tao, ay eh mawala si Jesus sa kanyang buhay. At yan ang pinakita sa atin ng mahal na ina. With great anxiety, bakit? Kasi yung mawala si Jesus sa kanyang buhay, wala nang lahat. Christ is her only real and true possession. At kapag kahinahanap natin si Jesus, really for His own sake, for the sake of Jesus, talagang makikita natin si Jesus. Talagang makikita natin si Jesus. When we only when we look for Jesus for the sake of Jesus, na siya talaga ang hinahanap natin sapagkat tinitignan natin si Jesus katulad ng pagtingin ng ating mahal na ina, katulad ng puso ni Maria, makikita natin si Jesus. Kaya nga, sa pagkakatagpo ng ating mahal na ina kay Jesus, tayo din, matatagpuan natin siya only with a heart like that of our Blessed Mother with the heart of Mary. Kasi kapag ka, hindi natin ituturing si Jesus at hindi natin siya hanapin na siya ang lahat sa atin, hindi natin tunay na makikita si Jesus. Maring makakakita natin ng isang genie o isang wishing well o baka ang makita natin ay isang tao lamang na nagpapabuya. But only, no, kapag kakatulad ni Maria, hinanap natin si Jesus for the sake of Jesus, dahil siya ang lahat sa atin. Makikita natin siya. At mararanasan natin ang naranasan ng ating mahal na ina. Yung galak, yung tuwa na hindi maipaliwanag na makita si Jesus, na madagpuan si Jesus sa kanyang buhay. Hindi ba yan naman talaga ang gusto natin? Yung magkaroon tayo ng galak, tuwa na hindi ma maipinta, na hindi natin mailalagay sa salita. At yan ang binibigay ng sino mang naghahanap kay Jesus, katulad ni Maria. At sa sino mang humihingi ng tulong sa ating mahal na ina upang makita si Jesus. We now stand and let us offer our petitions. Let us glorify our Savior who chose the Virgin Mary for His mother. Let us ask Him, May your mother intercede for us, Lord. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You made Mary full of grace, grant to all men and women. You have been called to serve your people, the joyful abundance of your grace, that they may become living witnesses of your love, and their vocation of wholehearted service, we pray. You taught Mary to seek the glory of God above all things else, Grant that our government leaders may, through their sincere desire for the greater glory of God, lead the people towards the real and integral progress of society and humanity. We pray. May your mother, your mother intercede for us, Lord. Mary, receive God's word with an open heart. May we free ourselves from useless anxieties and learn to entrust our life under God's living protection. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You crowned Mary, Queen of Heaven. May all the members of our community who have died rejoice in your kingdom with your saints forever. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our Blessed Mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives. We pray. May your mother intercede for us. Lord. For our personal intentions and for the intentions of the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. 
we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. All-powerful God, we rejoice in the protection of the Holy Virgin Mary. May her prayers help to free us from all evils here on earth and lead us to eternal joy in heaven. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dearly beloved, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, we offer you these offerings of conciliation and praise, humbly asking that following the example of the Virgin of Nazareth, we may present our very selves as a holy sacrifice pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for at Nazareth she receives with faith the message of Gabriel and becomes the mother of your Son, begotten by you before the ages, now born into, into this world of time as our Savior and our brother. At Nazareth too, in loving communion with her Son, she watches over the growing church in the person of her child, and hands on to us the shining example of her life. In the house of Nazareth, as the first disciple of her son, she receives the message of the gospel and treasures it in her heart and reflects on it in her mind. Now with angels and archangels and with the whole company of heaven, we sing the unending hymn of your praise.
Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, how full asleep in the, of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy, all we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph's spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who praise you throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us now pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace, please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please all kneel for the prayer for the election. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver, Deliver us, us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. 
Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord God, look with kindness on those you have strengthened with the sacrament from heaven, so that through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may work silently at building up your kingdom on earth, and so enjoy its fulfillment in heaven in the company of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the blessing of the sick and the blessing of the rosaries and other religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.